Scotia Bank, one of the island's big two commercial banking groups, from the accounts of its senior officers, had what they described as solid performances across all business lands last year, but for the 1% asset tax, which impacted on net profit and cost efficiency. Addressing an analyst briefing on Wednesday, December 3, 24, Scotiabank's President Jacqueline Sharp said the group was focusing on four strategic priorities to drive growth and sustainability in 2015 and beyond. The first is sustainable revenue growth, a focus on that. Um, and we, 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 here we're going to be doing a better job of, of deepening and anchoring our existing customer relationships by institutionalizing cross by. No, that phrase really refers to the fact that we would like we offer a full suite of financial services and products across our group. We have insurance, we have banking, we have investments, we have mortgages, and, and we also have um, microfinance as well. And there is, we, we do have a large customer base as a significant strategic asset for us. But we have to do a better job of showing those customers our entire product suite and, and allowing them to benefit from all of these products and services that can meet their entire financial needs in a one-stop shopping experience. So when we say cross-buy, it's really ensuring that our customers are aware of what we offer across our different segments and making it easier for them to be able to utilize and buy those products and services across the group. Um, and we, so we're going to spend a lot of time on trying to, to, to beef that up in 2015. Client int intimacy is another area and really speaks to how we're going to deliver on, on our customer experience. Um, we know that, you know, financial products are commodities now. So what we really need to distinguish ourselves from our comp competitors is in the quality of our customer experience that we deliver. And so this year we're going to be focusing on, on better understanding the needs of our customers and empowering our team to deliver a seamless and consistent experience across the group and across the network, across the different channels that we deliver our services through. On our operational efficiency, which is our third prong, um, you know, we have, as you have seen in our results, we, we, we continue to be challenged by increased operating costs, and that's just our reality. Um, so we have to get very aggressive about streamlining our operations and removing some of those structural costs out of our business. And one of the primary initiatives that we're going to be focusing on in 2015 is to um, is a basically a drive to increase the use of alternative channels uh, for service delivery so that we can have less traffic in the branches and more opportunity to deliver a better experience and offer more quality advice and solutions to our clients. And of course, with electronic transa transactions, the cost of that operation is, is, is much less than, than a branch operation. So we're going to be really aggressively going out on a push for this, um, educating our customers as to the benefits and, and trying to increase the use of alternative channels generally. And then finally, as we tackle 2015 head on, we recognize that our winning team and our culture is a competitive advantage. So we will remain focused on, on nurturing our talent pool and our leadership capabilities to meet both the current and the future demands of our, of our customers and our overall business and strategic plans. So those are the four key areas that we're going to be focusing on in 2015. Going to be another challenging year, but we have a great team. Everybody is up to the task and, and we're looking forward to an exciting 2015. Scotia Group's diversified structure will no doubt play a major part in this endeavor. Here's the man who controls the purse strings.